All right, so I have a Pioneer CLD-V2600. It's a laser disc player. Yeah, those existed years ago. So the customer is complaining that he can't play some discs in it. Hopefully something simple like just needs a cleaning or a belt. Let's look at a note he left. So he says side one of disc wouldn't play except after several tries of ejecting the disc and putting it back in. Won't play audio CD. Sometimes close button won't work. Turning unit off and on fixes it sometimes. Well, let's get the top off, take a look inside, and see if we can figure out what might be going on. Okay, well here is the optical pickup laser lens. And if I shine a flashlight on it, Oh my gosh, look at how much dust is on this thing. It's absolutely unbelievable how dirty this thing is. Well, that might be a contributing factor. So, before I do anything, let's go ahead and power the unit up, put the disc in it, and see what happens. I don't see the laser pickup being a problem as far as loading the disc. I still think there might be a bad belt in here. So, let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Power on. Let's see what happens. Well, it is looking for a disc. Well, let's go ahead and open the drawer, see if the drawer comes out easily. And it does, that's great. So I have a disc. We'll go ahead and put the disc in. No defects anywhere on the disc whatsoever. It looks absolutely great. Same on this side, it looks absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and put it in. Close the drawer. Oh, I hear a motor running. It was unable to clamp the disc fully. Nope, still trying to clamp the disc. It can't clamp it. That's why it just keeps running and running. Okay, so looking down in here, this is the loading belt right here. That's what's slipping. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off and try to clean it with some acetone and see if that gets us better results. If it doesn't, I'll try to find a replacement belt to go back in it. Well, the belt doesn't look too terribly bad. It's very slippery, very glazed. So we'll give it the magical solution acetone treatment and see if we get better results with it. Okay, so I have just a regular paper towel and the Magical Solution Acetone. I'm just gonna moisten the paper towel. Got a nice moist spot right there. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it over the belt. And I'm just gonna pull the belt through it a few times. All right, there we go. The belt is an absolute pristine shape now. And I know, people are gonna comment, you can't use acetone to clean the belt. Well, I'm here to tell you, 40 years servicing these items, I've used acetone that whole time. And let me tell you, if anything, it's gonna make the belt last longer because it's removing the contaminants that can damage the rubber. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and clean the pulley. And unfortunately, my hand or my fingers are probably gonna get in the way of it. But once again, a Q-tip moistened with acetone. Just gonna put it in the groove of the pulley and work it around a few times. We'll do it down here on the main gear as well. If I can get my hand out of the way so you can see it. And so this one I'm actually scrubbing as I turn it. All right, check it out. Look at how much dirt was on those pulleys. Well, let's go ahead and put the belt back on it now. There we go, belt's on it. It's not twisted. Well, next we'll go ahead and apply power once again and see if it can successfully close the door. Okay, here we go. Power on with no disc. Closed no problem whatsoever. Next, we'll put the disc back in it. Oh, close absolutely perfectly. Let's see if it can read the disc. And it actually read the disc with a lens that's that dirty. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just clean the optical pickup. I see there is another loading belt. Let's stop the disc. 
This one might be a little harder to get to, but it actually drives the sled mechanism, the laser forward and backwards. So I'll try to get that off. We'll clean it with some acetone once again. I'll go ahead and clean the optical lens down here, and then we'll see if we get good results. I think we will. I'm very, uh, I'm very optimistic. Okay, so I've already went ahead and removed the top cross brace. There's only four screws that hold it in place and then it can be taken out just like that. Now to gain access to this belt that's down here, the sled mechanism is right in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one screw in the corner here. I'm gonna very gently lift up on this rail and slide it backwards like that. And now I can lift the whole laser assembly up and get it out of the way like that so I can get access to that belt. There it is. We'll give that belt the acetone treatment as well. All right, there we go. Belt is extra clean. Once again, acetone, yes. Removes contaminants, removes anything that could damage the belt. And yes, it will actually extend your belt life. This is 40 years doing this kind of repair and using acetone the entire time. Next, same thing, little acetone in here. I'm just going to run it around a few times. Not bad at all. Definitely got some dirt off of there. All right, belt's back on. Let's remount the laser assembly. So on the far side right here, You've got to get this metal plate right there in between these two tabs. Just like that. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean the optical pickup at this point while I have it this far apart. I think it's gonna be easier. And because this thing is several years old, coming up on 30, I'm gonna go ahead and get my can of duster and just go ahead and hit the optical pickup with the duster just to try to clean it up a little bit because dust sometimes gets in there. And then let's look at the lens, still got some dirt. It actually did quite a good job. It removed a lot of the dirt that was on the lens. So let's go ahead and clean it now. And for cleaning, I use just a cotton swab and regular glass cleaner, nothing special. Uh, nothing with ammonia, I don't want it to damage the plastic. Just standard old like Windex or generic Windex works absolutely great. Okay, cotton swab, moistened not soaked, just moistened. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a very, very light pressure and clean in circular motions. Next, same thing with the dry end. Very light pressure and circular motions once again. Let's take a look with the flashlight now. I can already tell it looks so much better. Oh yeah, look at that. I see a little bit of something down in there, but I can't tell. Is that reflections of light or is it just something that's actually in the lens? But yeah, so much better than the first time we looked at this with a flashlight. Okay, now just past the optical pickup is this infrared detector LED. That is what tells the unit if a disc is actually in it. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off with the damp end and then dry it with the dry end. And I have had these in the past cause issues where it doesn't think a disc is actually in the unit because this thing, whoever serviced it, only cleaned the optical pickup over here. They didn't actually clean the detector diode as well. All right, here we go. Let's close the disc.
and it recognized there was a disc in there. Let's hit play. There we go, it's playing absolutely perfectly. Stop it. Now, he said it wouldn't play an audio CD. So let's go ahead and get an audio CD in here and see if it plays it as well. Okay, here we go. I've got a compact disc in it. I already pressed play, so it should find the tracking, find the table of contents, and play it. And it is. Let's skip through the tracks real quick. Make sure it goes all the way to the end. Okay, that's the last track. Well, let me get you pointed over here on the video monitor and I'll go ahead and put the What About Bob laser disc in it and make sure that it plays a few seconds of it. Okay, so I have the camera pointed over at the video monitor. Let's go ahead and load the disc. And there it's playing. Let's skip into it a little bit. Now some of these have chapter tracks and some of these discs don't. This one does, very good. Anyhow, it's playing, I've got audio uh, coming out of the monitor right now. I did have audio on the CD momentarily. So it looks like it's gonna work great. So yeah, that's it. Um, some magical solution acetone cleaning some of the belts that were well they were very glazed they needed to be cleaned anyhow this one's going I just got to put it back together and just give it back to my customer minimum labor charge just for cleaning so once again at this point I want to give a sincere thank you to those who have supported my channel with a donation via PayPal or by having me repair your unit like this one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at NorCal715. You can email me, NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Go ahead, leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and answer when I have time. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.